guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be reviewing Diablo, the very world's first direct self-balancing wheeled leg robot. Now this robot here has a capability to carry over 220 pounds and has the ability to be programmed using SDK. So overall it sounds like a really cool concept and the fact that it can balance, even jump, is absolutely mind blowing. So if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below in the description and in this episode here we'll be unboxing boxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box. It is a, literally a gigantic case. Comes with wheels, rubber stoppers, and it says direct drive tech here on the top. Now on this side here, there's these locks that you can go ahead and open up. So this is designed for travel purposes, and so it does come with wheels as well as a handle. So it's kind of nice that they give you that capability. Well, let's open this thing up. All right, so on the top here, we have ourselves a user manual. So it's kind of showcase how to go ahead and use it as well as the emergency stop procedure. Uh, we have a really cool looking blueprint of our robot. So this is pretty neat. So they do include that. You can kind of like hang this up if you really want to. It definitely looks cool, kind of showcases the inner workings of the robot. And then <laughs> they included a Conflix version on the robot. That's awesome. Now on the side here, we have a little suitcase. So this here is gonna be designed to house our controller and different accessories. Let's take a look. All right, so typically you would have your charger here on the side, uh, but um, we didn't get a charger here. This is since it's a prototype product, but the final version will include that as well as the battery that's included. Now this here is our controller, pretty nice. So standard stuff there. And then uh, you do have an accessory package here, which includes a variety of different nuts, screws, and bolts. Uh, we do have a little weight here for a display stand. Uh, comes with this nice looking plaque for uh, showcasing exactly the serial number of our Diablo so we can have it on display next to our robot, kind of like that. So that's kind of cool. And then it does come with a little USB-C cable to go ahead and connect to it. Uh, if you want to go ahead and program it use a, using via SDK, uh, it does come with the Raspberry Pi and other different variations to go ahead and program it, which is nice. Uh, let's take a look at the robot. Now this here just got these little panels that kind of lift up here. And then inside here is literally our Diablo, which looks pretty darn cool. Uh, let's, oh my God, this guy is really, really heavy. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up here properly. All right, so check it out, guys. So this here's everything out of the box uh, in terms of what's included. So obviously, we know we have our main controller here. We have our accessories. Uh, we have our little plaque and different things like that. Now, in terms of the user manual goes, uh, I would highly encourage you to read over it before you do use this thing. So you do get a certificate of inspection. Uh, and then over here kind of showcases the packaging listing in terms of what's included and what's not. So overall, a high quality looking grade uh, robot. So you do have uh, some different, looks like 3D printed parts. So that's kind of neat too. So you do have these parts here. Um, and then uh, and then over here is include these little rubber stoppers. I got a little custom conflicts version there. So that's kind of neat that they did include that. Uh, on the front here, you do have this beautiful looking LED display. Uh, this will go ahead and allow it to illuminate. Uh, it has an RGB effect to it. Uh, the battery housing is typically gonna be held inside here. Uh, so from my understanding, just go ahead and open this up and you place the battery inside and then you connect it via the power cable, which is back there. Uh, and then in terms of how it kind of stands up, it does like this kind of number right here. So it'll go ahead and move itself about and it'll just kind of drive around like that. So it's actually a very, very heavy robot. Uh, so being able to balance itself, weighing that that much is absolutely crazy. And it's got these two wheels to do it and do that. And I mean, yeah, definitely has a really cool vibe. Now, uh, this here is our remote control, so you can see that you have your different toggles, you have your dials, this will go ahead and help increase, decrease height, which will kind of go in just a little bit. And pretty straightforward other than that. So let's go ahead and take this thing out next and try it out. All right, so we're outside here trying out Diablo. And uh, right now we're in the rolling mode. So it's like an RC car. You can actually move really, really fast with this thing. And then in order to go up, all you gotta do is simply hit the left toggle just like that, and it'll rise up. Now, from here, you can actually lower the height. You can raise the height based on your own personal preference, but it's kind of cool in how it kind of gives you that movability. Now, you can also have it flex to the left, flex to the right. You can have it move up and move back. Have it look up, look all the way down. And it's actually kind of cool in how it kind of moves about. It gives it almost like an organic kind of feel. 
Now, I've never seen a robot like this, especially with the motors itself. It gives it a really nice, powerful feel. Now, when you do move it, you kind of see it kind of gliding about, and it kind of like positions itself in a way where it's actually almost like as if it's dancing. It's really, really cool. And you can actually kind of give it more of an animation feel, and I have to say, it definitely feels something almost out of like a Disney movie or something I've never seen before. Now, another thing is that you can actually have it jump. For instance, if I press the trigger button here, you can see how it flexes, and the moment you let it go, pop, it'll just go ahead and jump like that. Let's try it again, pop, look at that. That is actually pretty cool how it does that, and you can just keep doing that, and it's great in terms of balancing. Now, the nice thing about this is that it can balance itself quite well. For instance, if I kick it, it'll actually still balance itself. And you can literally abuse it, unfortunately, I have to say it, but it'll get back up just like that. So it's really cool in how they designed that. Now, in terms of other modes, you do have a dance mode. So if I just go ahead and bring it back up like this, and hit the right trigger, you'll see it kind of doing one of these motions. <laughs> it's actually really, really cool. So let's see how this works in terms of off terrain goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take in the grass here. And you can see it's kind of gliding about quite well. <laughs> Look at this. So it's actually pretty cool that you can do it just about anything with it. And that's because the tires are really, really big. All right, they're gonna go ahead and see if this thing can play hopscotch. Oh, okay, no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, uh, let's just slow it down a little bit. There you are, jump, and then But yes, that uh, kind of gives you an idea how that works. Now we can have it jump over uh, holes. For instance, we have a little pothole over here. Let's see if we can jump over that. Nice. <laughs> Woo, just barely made it. <laughs> That's pretty cool how it does that. Uh, let's see how fast we can go ahead and take this thing and see how this handles. have it overall a really really cool robot definitely something I've never seen before I love the design concept of it and it's something very unique now I've reviewed a lot of robots but this one definitely stands out and it's something that showcases what the future holds now with that said if you guys had any questions about Diablo feel free to comment down below otherwise see you guys next time take care now bye bye